Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will show you how to split a list of numbers into two columns based on positive and negative values. After watching the video, you will know how to extract positive and negative values from a list of numbers. Let's get started. How to split column to separated negative and positive values in Excel. To split columns in Excel into separate columns for negative and positive values, you can use Excel's built-in functions and features like if, filter, or a combination of them. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Assuming you have a list of numbers in column A, and you want to split them into two columns, one for positive values and one for negative values. You can use columns B and C for this example. First, let's create headers. In cell B1, enter, positive, as the header, and in cell C1, enter, negative, as the header. Second, enter formulas. Use if function. In cell B2, the first cell under, positive, enter the following formula to extract positive values. Types equals if, a2 greater than 0, a2. Press enter. You will find the positive number in cell A2 is copied to B2. Hover over the small square in the bottom right corner of the cell B2, and when the cursor turns into a crosshair, drag it down to fill the formulas for the entire column. All positive numbers are copied to column B properly. You can refer to the same method to extract negative values. In cell C2, the first cell under, negative, enter the following formula to extract negative values. Types equals if, a2 less than 0, a2. Press enter. No number is returned due to the first number is not a negative number, so the logic expression returns nothing. Drag the fill handle down to copy the formula. All negative numbers are copied to column C properly. Use filter function. In cell B2, the first cell under, positive, enter the following formula to extract positive values. Types equals filter. A2, A15, A2, A15 greater than 0. Press enter. Excel will automatically display the positive values in columns B. In cell C2, types equals filter. A2, A15, A2, A15 less than 0. Press enter. All negative values are displayed in column C properly. Whichever function you use, columns B and C should display the positive and negative values from column A, respectively. If your original data in column A changes, columns B and C will automatically update to reflect the changes. These two methods allow you to split positive and negative values into separate columns while maintaining a dynamic link to the original data. That's it. Thanks for watching.